listen to. In this lesson we will learn how to make the default OECake file and we will also learn the um, visual variables and the format. I will explain the format of my variables as well. Alright, first off um, we will make the file, so fire up OECake, go to file, save as, name it anything, save it. Um, you can close your OECake and then you open your file and all your variables will be in there as such. Now um, this is the way I do the format. In the OECake file you will see a render mode 6. Okay. Now all that is is um, blob and texture mode. And on the right hand side you will see a list of other variables. Now the way I've written that is the variable and then the type and the default value. Now the type is i because it's an integer and the default value is 6. Um, now I will draw a block of fuel. I'll let it drop. Um, I'll pause the game, draw some fire and pause it again. And I'll unpause so you can watch it burn. Now this is completely unmodified, there's nothing at all changed. Now for this one I've changed the fire flag to zero. All that means is turn fire off. Anytime you see the word flag, it basically means um, on or off. It's a boolean switch. Here I'm demonstrating what happens if you change the fire life. I've shortened it by 600. Sorry, 700. So the fire doesn't really have a chance to move up too much because it doesn't stay around for too long. This is fire probability. It's basically the chance of the fire effect occurring. Now it's all going yellow because there's shitloads of fire. Uh, the buoyancy coefficient is basically how fast your fire rises or falls. In this case I've made it negative 10. Don't forget you can apply negative values to the appropriate numbers. And for this one I've um, combined two values to create a special effect. And keep in mind that these are in fact only visual effects, they do not affect the physics at all. So these things don't really matter, they're just for eye candy. Now I could show you the same with um, splashes and bubbles, but I reckon that's quite pointless. You can imagine it'll do like the same type of thing. Also if you've, if you've got your level open in OECake and you want to reload it after modifying it, you actually have to either load another level first or restart OECake because it won't work if you try to reload the same level.